Hello everyone, welcome to some more Space Engineers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a piston and cylinder, much like the one I have created for this model of a four-cylinder engine. I'm going to break it down into its bare components like you see here and show you how to put it all together. Okay, so now that we're ready to build, the first thing you're going to need to do is create your anchor block. So for that I'm using a large, uh, large block, a station block actually. I'm going to go ahead and just place a rotor on it and we'll go ahead and just surround it just so we know that this is the rotor that will actually power the whole system itself. So once you've got this go ahead and add two blocks and then around the second one essentially make a lowercase t. Once you've got that go ahead and take some angle pieces and finish it off. You don't have to use angle pieces, you can just use squares, but for this application it just makes it a much cleaner looking design. So once we've got this here, go ahead and remove this bottom block and insert a rotor that's facing the same direction. Now this is going to be the rotor that anchors to the uh, shaft of the piston itself. What you're going to want to do is once you've got that, add another rotor on the other side, make a copy of the T-shape. Okay, so once you've got that, what you're going to want to do is remove this center block and add one more rotor. This rotor is going to be what anchors our uh, separate side, the other half of the crank, back to this base. So how you do that is go ahead and just add two more blocks and then add a landing gear just like that. Okay so now that we've done that we need to finish our base and then anchor it to the other side. So in order to do that you're going to want to lower this down about this much. Give yourself one block of clearance between the spinning rotor and the base itself. Okay, so now that we're underneath our landing gear, just go ahead and double it up for purposes of this. Okay, so now you can see that it's yellow. So go ahead and add a cockpit, get in, hit P to park it and you can go ahead and remove it. So now this is anchored to the other side. Okay so now our base is complete. Next thing we need to do is build the cylinder crank. So we're going to go ahead and drop this down. Go ahead and drop it down about seven or so. Build kind of an angled joint just like this. What this is going to do is allow us to put a joint here that will stay in the center line of the cylinder itself. So go ahead and add a rotor and then add another piece here and go ahead and drop it down. So this part is actually going to be the uh, cylinder and then this is all part of the, uh, the cylinder shaft. So at this point Go ahead and just do this. Now this is going to be the base, the top of the cylinder. Pull this down and you're going to want to add the landing gear. The landing gear are what keep, are what keep the whole thing stable as it operates. Okay, so now that we're at this point, we're going to need to add the walls of the cylinder. And for the purposes of this, we only need to add the ones that the landing gear will contact. So go ahead and drop these down just like this. Just did the wrong one here. Remove that. drop those down like that. So now what you've got are the walls. Now for my design what I like to do is replace 
the area where the actual landing gear will contact with a block type that doesn't deform because over time if they're just regular blocks and even armor blocks they'll start to deform and then your cylinder will become less and less stable over time but these will never deform and that way you can keep your engine running continuously without any problems and I think seven or so should do it okay so now that you've got that we'll go ahead and clean up this joint make it look a little nicer Okay, so now at this point we've went ahead and cleaned it up, made it look a little bit nicer. Now we just need to turn it on and make sure that it works. We can actually do it. So we'll just go ahead and build out this way. Add a cockpit. Give us some power. And you'll see there's a rotor. We'll just go ahead and turn it up a little bit. Turn it on. And now you can see you've got a working cylinder. Okay, so that pretty much does it on how to build a cylinder. Now obviously you can do a lot of different designs from this. Uh, on your own but this is the basic way to get it working and like I said it'll work continuously forever uh, without breaking down anyways I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment below subscribe to my channel for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video